Yeah, so Music Not Impossible started in 2014 as an idea uh, to help the deaf and hard of hearing have a better live music experience through vibrations on the skin. So the first thing that we decided to do was to try to use as many natural components as possible. So we decided to build the structures out of a material called mycelium, which is essentially the roots of the mushroom. That way everything was as natural and sustainable as possible. We also incorporated some living components like the plants in the bottom. And we used all of these to incorporate into the technology and get readings from them. With the plants that Rhea mentioned, um, we actually have these hooked up to GSR sensors. Um, so what we're going to do is actually measure the conductivity of the plants um, and hopefully detect some changes during the live performance that will then be reflected um, in the music and in the lighting for the show. Um, additionally, we have this, which is a Muse headband. Um, this provides EEG data, so we will also have live brainwave data affecting the performance as well. So the Music Not Impossible suits are comprised of 24 points of vibration that are distributed uh, around your body with a harness, two wrist and two ankle bands. Uh, we have a wide variety of frequencies and the idea is not to replace music, but it is actually to create uh, a new art form that I call the art of haptics, um, taking uh, the skin as a new canvas for artistic expression. For the co hardware components that we have, we have this LED um, and this we can control wirelessly um, to change the uh, dimness of the, the light. And then over here we have a uh, water pump in this uh, bowl of water connected to a solenoid. Uh, so we can drive water up the pipe and then shoot out um, with different uh, power uh, through the solenoid. Um, and then over here we have a microphone sealed in, the, in a case inside the water. So we can um, detect when um, water is shot into the bowl and we can amplify that noise with a speaker that we have hidden underneath the base of this. Um, and then all this is controlled uh, remotely um, through these microcontrollers. So we have one microcontroller that's um, made at the, that's controlled at the central computer. And then it sends data to all of these which are hidden inside the structure. And then we can control all of our components um, through any messages that we send to each one of our boards. Yeah, it's a, it's a celebration about the you know, accessibility and art, technology, music and performance.